Hi, it's Carly. I wanted to give you a quick video about what is a confounding variable because if you are reading about a study and they ask you what a confounding variable is, you need to know what that is. So in words, a confounding variable is a variable that is not considered or measured by the researchers, but it influences both the supposed cause and the supposed effect. So if you think about a compounding variable being up here, it affects the relationship between the two things that you're studying, which is your independent variable and your dependent variable. So I'm going to show you three examples. Let's say that I was looking at exercise amongst individuals and I was measuring their blood pressure to say whether their blood pressure went down or up with exercise. This is what I'm studying, but if I don't talk about their starting weight, then that could affect the outcome of this the study because their starting weight is related to their amount of exercise and their blood pressure. So by not talking about the starting weight, then I may be leaving out some important information. If you want to find a confounding variable, you wouldn't say, well, some people might lie about the amount of exercise they do. That's not a confounding variable. That's a problem people have with studies of people not being honest. The confounding variable is something that the study does not talk about but could change the outcome. Another example is the rate of consumption of ice cream and the number of sunburns. And you could do this study and say, hey, when people eat more ice cream, they tend to get more sunburns. But of course, there's this confounding variable out there with just hot temperatures. Hot temperatures cause people to eat ice cream. Hot temperatures can cause sunburn. And so if you're just talking about ice cream and sunburns, it could look like there's a relationship when in fact this confounding variable of temperature lurking in the background that could be affecting that. And there's a lot of examples of things that happen in the summer that people could say like, oh, shark attacks are related to the amount of ice cream people eat because more shark attacks in the summer, whatever. So always be thinking about something that the researchers did not talk about in their study. That's what's confounding variable. And the last one could be if they were looking at the amount of activity somebody does and their weight gain. Well, if they don't talk about age, age has an impact on activity level and weight gain. And so that could be a confounding variable that's messing up the study. Again, we wouldn't say, well, the activity level could be different, you know, different times of the day or something like that. Activity level is being studied. That's not confounding. Only the age here would be confounding. Or there could be something else that could be confounding, like um, what do the people eat? I mean, that could be something that has to do with weight gain, right? But, but not activity level. Activity level is being studied, so that's not the confounding variable. All right, that's it. Thanks. Have a great day.